Keegan, played by Zach Morris, like the rest of his family, had no idea his sister Chantel, Jessica Plummer, was abused and ultimately killed by her husband Gray Atkins, Toby Alexander Smith. As the shocking truth has recently been revealed, Keegan is set to take the news badly next week. Trying to keep his family together, while blaming himself for not spotting the signs, will the East Enders sandwich shop owner lash out at the wrong people and put himself in danger? His estranged wife Tiffany Butcher is set to make a return to the BBC soap to help him, but will she be able to get through to the distraught Walford resident? In upcoming episodes, Karen Taylor, Lorraine Stanley, and Mitch Baker, Roger Griffiths, reel from recent revelations. Keegan tries to step up and support his family through the ordeal, but inside is falling apart himself. Vinnie Ponesar, Shiv Jalota, inadvertently makes this worse and is left red-faced when he boasts about how his brother Garrett Ponesar, Jazz Dial, tried to help Chantel and Chelsea Fox, Zaria Abrahams. This leaves Keegan feeling more guilty for not protecting Chantel. Later, Keegan reminds Mitch and Karen that it's Mac Atkins, Isaac Lamonius, birthday the next day and suggests they celebrate, determined to help his family. Mitch thinks it's time they tell Mac and Mia Atkins, Mahalia Malcolm, the truth about their dad. As they start to explain to the school children, it becomes too much for Karen and she rushes out of the room. Mitch struggles so Keegan steps in as the former begins to believe he didn't do enough to protect his daughter. He lashes out at Karen, blaming her for not noticing the signs with Gray. Deeply hurt by his comments, Karen kicks Gray out of the house. Things are tense within the family as Mitch tries to find somewhere to stay and Bailey Baker, Caralia Fernandez, pleads with Keegan to intervene, unaware of how much he is struggling himself. Vinny and Kat Slater, Jesse Wallace, rally around Keegan as he airs his frustrations. He can't get over the fact Carrot picked up on Chantel's abuse but he didn't. Dot however, their words are not enough to comfort Keegan. He eventually storms off, only to get into a huge argument with Karen about everything that's happened. Later, with her argument with Keegan playing on her mind, Vinny interrupts with some worrying news. Realizing he could be in serious trouble for his recent actions, Keegan struggles to hold things together. Could he have trashed Gray's house and car in a state of anger? He may be out for revenge and lashing out of anything in his path. Later though, he is left floored when Tiffany returns. Will she be able to get through to her ex-husband? If Keegan has started to smash up Gray's car, he is at risk of being arrested. Hopefully, Tiffany's return will shock him enough to stop him. She might be able to convince him Chantel's death wasn't his fault. With the character set to make an exit, will he escape Walford to move abroad with her? The two also had some unfinished business, as Tiffany had written Keegan a letter before leaving, asking him to join her. However, Tiffany's manipulative brother Liam Butcher, Alfie Deegan, intercepted the letter and Keegan never received it, leaving Tiffany believing he had rejected her plan. Will the two be able to discuss what happened between them and get back together? East Enders continues on Monday at 8pm on BBC One.